Welcome once again, right now we're in Hebrews chapter 10, the last part of that chapter, verses 32 through 39. But remember the former days in which, after you were enlightened, you endured a great struggle with sufferings, partly being exposed to both reproaches and oppressions, and partly becoming partakers with those who were treated so. For you both had compassion on me in my chains and joyfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you have for yourselves a better possession and an enduring one in the heavens. Therefore, don't throw away your boldness, which has a great reward. For you need endurance so that, having done the will of God, you may receive the promise. In a very little while, he who comes will come and will not wait. But the righteous one will live by faith. If he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. And that is found in Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. But we are not of those who shrink back to destruction, but of those who have faith to the saving of the soul. Now, in my introduction to Hebrews, I said that I personally cannot see that Paul wrote this book. Now, if there's any hints that it was possibly Paul who wrote this, it's in this passage. This sounds a lot like Paul, although the rest of the book doesn't really sound like Paul. This sounds like Paul in that he's talking about his persecutions, about being in chains and such. But don't forget, too, there could have been a lot of other people at that time that was also imprisoned and in chains because of their faith. And also note that the author of Hebrews here quotes from the Old Testament a lot, okay, especially in this chapter. He quotes from the Old Testament a lot. So he uses the Old Testament. Don't forget back then, they never called it the Old Testament. Back then, that was their Bible. That was their, that was the scriptures, okay? So he quotes from that using those texts as the foundation of of his doctrine. Now, if you go to a church that doesn't use so-called Old Testament uh, passages as the foundation of your doctrine, then I'm sorry, but you need to find a different church. We need to study the scriptures. We need to study the Old Testament first and foremost before we, we get into the New Testament, because we know that the New Testament is built upon the Old Testament. If you don't have a solid, solid understanding and a solid foundation in the Old Testament, you cannot fully understand the New Testament. Until next time, seek him with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.